Alrighty, what's poppin'? In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to transfer your Pokemon from your emulators like the Yuzu and Ryu Jinx and transfer it onto your console game, which is your Nintendo Switch. Now, do keep in mind that this process will work for any um, Nintendo Switch Nintendo Switch Pokemon game. Let's say, for example, this will, this will work for Pokemon Let's Go or the near future we get a Gen 9 or we get a Diamond Pro remake. This process will also work too. So there's a couple of things I'm gonna go over first that you guys are gonna need. First, you guys are gonna need PK Hex, which I'll leave in the description down below. Maybe you need PK Hex. And also you guys will need Checkpoint. Now Checkpoint is really easy and simple to download. And also you need a custom firmware for this also. So all you guys are gonna do need to do is download the NR NRO and then you're gonna drag and drop it to you're gonna drag and drop it to your root of your folder. Basically, you're gonna drag and drop checkpoint to the root of your folder. So you're basically gonna need PK hex and checkpoint because you're basically gonna edit your save file. Now, first things first, you're going to need access to your save file from the emulator. Now, but first things first, I want to edit a few things. So in my mind, I want, I'll say 100 Zyroods. Well, I want a full box of Zyroods. So I'm going to just edit Pokemon real quick. Now, like this will also work too when I'll say we'll get another 150 plus Pokemon when the crown tundra comes out so if you want new pokemon you can add them up add them on to like this and all you have to do is just drag and drop onto your main file and then voila there you go now obviously all these pokemon are illegal so i'm gonna get a magarina so get a magarina i want it to be shiny so Shiny Magarina, and then put it at level 100. Um, form original. Give it the original form. Give it a Cherish Ball. Give it a Cherish Ball. And then let's put on with the tax real quick. Like that. The stats. Get perfect IVs. And you're gonna drag and drop it right about here. And you can make it illegal, I believe. Nope, we cannot. I guess I need to do a few edits, but that's not the point of this video. To mess around PK Hex. And then after that, you're gonna export it. And export to your main. You save it. And you're good to go. Alright, so. Now we got that out of the way. We're gonna um, put it onto your main save file onto your Nintendo Switch. So I'm gonna put all my USB. Alrighty, so we're gonna add, so right now I'm going to add my emulator save file onto my Nintendo Switch save file. So like I said before, you guys are gonna need custom firmware and you're gonna need checkpoint for this. So, And I suggest you guys boot up checkpoint at least one time before this if you guys even attempt this. So I'm going to switch folder, go to checkpoint, go to saves. Now, for some reason loads up all my games I have. All right, so as you see right here, this is all my save file. So I can mostly override any save file that I want. And I can rename them. So, say for example, I'm gonna rename this real quick. I'm just gonna rename it. Just call it YouTube vid. And then I'm gonna go right here. And I'm gonna drag and drop my main save file onto here. So I'm basically replacing it. Alrighty, and then after we do that, I'm just gonna close that up. I'm